All right, I'm going to talk to you today about how to fix the My Career issues on the PC system. Now, 2K, they fixed the issues on the Xbox and the PlayStation, but they never fixed it for a PC. And if you're like me, that's kind of not cool because I'm a PC gamer with a mid-range laptop, and so I can't play... 2k15 2k16 because i don't have a good enough graphics card but i can play 2k14 because that was the last game released for the playstation 3 so here's how you fix the issues now there's two issues that i noticed that seem to be common that i was having and these are probably the same issues that you're having as well the first issue is when you play my career you'll get to your second season and right about sometime in the spring i can't remember if it was january february all of a sudden you'll finish a game and the game will just crash and you'll restart it you'll replay it and the game will just keep on crashing so there's two solutions to this issue uh, one of them is there is a problem with the my career one file so if you go in here my career one there's a problem with that file name so what you need to do is you need to create a my career two file and the other thing is when you're playing my career i actually had to completely start over and instead of simulating games i would just play every single game in the season so when i was playing what i would do is let me show you here real quick so what i was doing is instead of going play now play next key game play next game i wouldn't do that what i would do is from this home screen i would just hit enter and then jump right into the next game and doing that i've gotten all the way to my third season i haven't had any crashes or any issues with this game so that's how you take care of that issue now let's talk about the all-star break issue so there's this other issue in nba 2k where you'll get to the all-star break and then the game will just like fast forward through the rest of the season and you lose like 30 games so it kills your statistics uh it's annoying as heck it drove, it drove me up a wall so i figured out the solution to this issue as well so in my career what you have to do is when you get to the all-star break you have to save a copy of your game and so what i did is see if i've got my career 2 here what i did is i saved my career 2a before i do the dunk contest in the all-star break now after you do that let's load up this file so what you want to do then is after you do that you'll want to come in and you'll want to go so you'll want to load up the copied file okay you don't want to you want to save an original copy so in case something goes wrong you still have that original copy but then what you want to do is you want to hit play next key game and then play the all-star game then play the game and then as soon as it's over you want to save another copy of your game and so after you play the first event in the all-star game you want to save a copy of your game so you want to save so if in my instance then it would be my career 2b and then play the next game that would be my career 2c so you'll probably have in your first season you'll have the dunk contest so you should save a file a copy of the file before the dunk contest after the dunk contest and then uh, you'll have the all-star game and then you also have the the rookie the rising stars challenge or whatever the heck they call it where it's the rookies versus the sophomores or whatever um, but before each one of these games you should save 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 and after you get through the all-star break save a copy just in case and then after that hit enter go on to your next game and that should fix the issue to get you through the all-star break i know it sounds tedious but it'll just take you a few extra minutes to save these extra files and that will fix the issue so i hope this was helpful for you hope you enjoy this game and good luck guys